On the crime watch tonight, tearful testimony today in the murder case of Gonzalo Curiel, the Salinas man accused of torturing and abusing three children, killing two of them. Today, jurors heard from the deputy who sa saved the surviving sibling. Action News reporter Felix Cortez has been following the case. He's live outside the Salinas courthouse with the very latest for us tonight. And Aaron, it was that testimony that led to pictures and video being shown to the jury of a nine-year-old Jane Doe in the hospital, a child so abused and starved that at least one doctor testified had she not been rescued, she might have died. After repeated efforts to get Salinas police and Monterey County CPS workers to intervene on behalf of Sean and Tara Delilah, it would be this man, a Plumas County Sheriff's deputy, who finally did something, but it was too late to save them. His efforts, however, did lead to the rescue of Jane Doe, the sibling's nine-year-old sister. Tyler Herman testified he found Jane Doe cuddled on the floorboard of Huntsman's SUV outside the Quincy apartment they had just moved into. The young girl was cold, bruised, and battered. Pictures of Jane Doe with the black eye, open sores, a busted collarbone were shown to jurors. A girl so skinny you could see her rib cage. It was enough to bring at least one juror to tears. When asked who did it, Jane Doe said Gonzalo Curiel and Tammy Huntsman were responsible. But when questioned separately, the couple said the injuries were self-inflicted and the result of horseplay. She's constantly throwing herself around, going like this, like just always for attention. When I had her in the counseling and the therapy, they just said she's really seeking attention since her mom killed herself. And okay. You've been spanking her, you've been beating her, you've been punching her when mom's not around. You put bars behind her back and spanked her, and that's why her collarbone's broken. I don't know anything about that. You don't know anything about that. Also taking the witness stand, Joy Huntsman, Tammy's mother, who first told investigators about the other children. She told one investigator, I think the children are dead. I could feel it in my heart, she testified. She also told jurors the kids were bubbly, happy, full of life. That is until Gonzalo Curiel came into the picture. And today the jury also shown a video of Jane Doe being interviewed inside a Plumas County Hospital and a girl beat and, and bruised and, and during small talk the uh, young girl told at least uh, one investigator that she wanted to be a scientist just like the one in the movie, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. The jury could hear from Jane Doe again this week, l rather later this week as the prosecution plans to put her on the witness stand. Aaron, Dan. Tough testimony for sure. Thank you, Felix. If convicted, Gonzalo Curiel faces life in prison. Earlier this year, his co-defendant, Tammy Huntsman, reached a plea deal in which prosecutors agreed to drop the death penalty in exchange for life in prison and a guilty plea.